You want to go? I'll show you what the garden is. Let's do that with the music. Okay. Will you hold this for a second? Don't drop it. I'm losing my back brace. Back on. And I'm losing my clothes. <laughs> I've been walking all day giving these tours. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start in what's called the kitchen garden. So this is the kitchen garden in here. And I'll just take you under here. Watch where you walk. So what we did is we started trying to find before our trees get established and they create lots of good filtered light like a forest. I wanted to find quick shade. What grows really fast and will create a beautiful shade? Well, I started with sunflowers because they grow really fast. Mm -hmm. And I created like a cool microclimate under there. Lettuce grows under there, but then taro roots started growing under there. Turmeric grew, ginger grows, horseradish, cucumbers. They all loved it under the shade. So I decided that's what we really need to create in the beginning before the forest establishes and creates all the shade. Then we won't have to worry about it. But in the meantime, every year I plant sunflowers. Then this year I added what's called sunchokes. Let me find some sunchokes over here. These guys are sunchokes. You can see them growing really tall right there and they're starting to bloom. Mm -hmm. They have little tiny yellow flowers. And so that's why you can see these beauties like that is ginger. This is turmeric that is so beautiful. Our gorgeous taro root right there. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Hmm. All these tropical plants will actually grow in here. So watch where you walk because there's little plants starting to come up. We grow food all year long. I've done four crops. A crop of peas, a crop of lentils, a crop of flax, and I've got another crop right here growing. Hmm. You can grow many, many crops throughout the year. This is a Potawatomi heirloom uh, plum tree that the Native Americans gave to the settlers when they came here. Wow. And this broccoli came back from last year. It lived through the winter. Wow. I couldn't believe that. i never seen anything like that. And you can see everybody's happy here. I've got the soaker hose going, so just step right over that carefully. But you see the microclimate that's going on in here? It's like a tropical rainforest. Hmm. And all the plants are growing up the trees and the vines. Look at the, the beans right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Huh. How they grow up on the top. Watch where wow. you walk though, sweetie. Oh, I can't have you come in here if you don't watch yet. Yeah. It's not the soaker hose, it's the plants. So oh, step over the plants. Don't step in any plants. I don't want to kill the plants. So walk through here and it's yes, a nice little forest. When you're done with this one. We're going to do a tour right now. So if you'd like to send them in. Oh, good. Okay. So have them do... wait outside, but don't have oh. them come in here. Okay. Just right I just, out yes. Out. Yes. So come on in here and look at what's happening in here, you guys. Look at how beautiful these grapevines are. Growing up like this with all the 